Hi everybody, uh, my name is Christer. I uh, am uh, uh, very happy today because I got my shipping notification for my Decades Dreams uh, PCB. Which of course means that uh, soon we're all going to have to be ready to uh, solder 600 plus uh, 805 surface mount capacitors. It's going to be glorious. Um, I've done a little bit of uh, surface mount stuff before, uh, mainly building uh, sequencers. Uh, this one in particular, uh, these I built, and this is the PCB that includes some uh, surface mount stuff um, that I put on there. So, uh, <coughs> I was gonna explain a little bit about what I did to, uh, to be able to do this, and I think uh, one of the key things, of course, is uh, magnification. I got this thing off Amazon some years ago for about twelve dollars. It's uh, it's quite nice. It has uh, one level of magnification. Uh, first level is that like that, uh, and then you flip down some inner thing, and that's the second level, and then it's a third level or whatever somewhere up here. I never use that. That's just too close. First and second level works really well, uh, depending on your eyesight. Mine is getting worse, so I often use two. Um, but if you uh, if you see pretty well, you should be able to do this with one level, or even w without any magnification. It kind of depends on how well you see. Um, the uh, other tools that I'm using for this is uh, a soldering iron. Sorry for my shoddy camera work here. Uh, this thing um, I have it set to 630 degrees. The tip I'm using uh, for surface mount. It's usually a very sharp, uh, conical, uh, one sixty-fourth of an inch uh, tip. It's very, very uh, fine. I also use uh, this solder that I got off eBay um, for, for specifically for surface mount. For surface mount. It's a 0 0.015 inch uh, water clean, which is uh, uh, kind of nice. You need a uh, well, actually, you need any kind of pliers, but uh, I, I have this, which is just like a dollar or two off eBay. And uh, probably among the more important things, you need a, a flux pen. Uh, very good to have. And uh, nice to have, I assume, uh, is a uh, pan of ice or similar, something to hold the circuit board while you're working. So um, anyway, let's uh, get started to see. Uh, uh, and you need a drink of your choice, of course. Uh, let's start it to get to see uh, what we uh, uh, how how we do this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take my uh, capacitor out of its uh, little holding place here and dip that out. These things are tiny. Um, uh, of course, you can't see that, but let me see if I can find a place. Uh, yeah, there, that, that's it. There it is, and it's gonna be fitted right here. Uh, but before we fit it there, I am going to put some flux onto like so. Okay, wonderful. And then I will take my soldering iron and, uh, and the solder and just put a little bit of Of solder onto onto one pad. So that's usually enough. Um, sometimes I also actually after that dab a little bit of of uh, flux on it because it makes it uh, it makes it flow even better. So what we do next is that we place the uh, capacitor on top of that. So now the um, capacitor is a bit, or the, 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 um, the, um, the PCB is a little bit sticky from the flux, which is nice because it kind of sticks down. So I'm just going to hold on to that while I'm heating up the solder, holding down. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was. 
That was actually <laughs> that was actually really really funny. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, sorry, um, because it just flew away. It it, it uh, literally at the speed of light. It uh, it uh, the 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 uh, capacitor ejected itself from reality, and it is now somewhere somewhere missing which of course means that when you order 600 and whatever 37 capacitors that you need for Decker's Dream order 650 or, 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 or better right they're like no they're basically free it's a couple of dollars for for the whole or like seven dollars for the whole thing anyway I'm gonna try this again so what you've seen now is um, a little bit of solder on one of the pads just like there and some flux on that and then I'm going to take out the capacitor place it like so um, And now I'm going to oops, push it down while I'm heating up the solder, like so. So now it's actually on, okay? It is, it is, it is pretty solid. Now I'm going to heat up the second pad and dab with a, with that. And usually I try to just reflow the first pad again. So now, let's see if we can uh, we can get some focus on this. Maybe that is too bright. Um, I don't think I can get any closer, but that's pretty much. Oh, sorry, I can't. I can't get closer than that. So just for fun, I'm actually going to do one more. Um, yeah, just for fun. I'm going to pick a resistor this time. Uh, dabbing a bit of flux. The 22 ohm resistor, I picked it out. It is right here. Um, before I attach it, I actually like to have it up so I can see the... Uh, it says 220, which is of course 22 ohm with no zeros after um, let me uh, put a little bit of solder on that pad like that um, dab it with a flux pen to make things flow and then put my resistor down Flow that. I'm actually going to press down on it while I heat it up. Oop. Readjust it a little bit like so. Nice. Shift it around. Where's my thing? And then do a little bit of solder on the other side. And then when that's nice and done. I try to reflow the other side. Very nice. Happy little accidents. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you one more, um, just because. Um, so this is how uh, I do when I get a little bit lazy. I'm going to do the 2.2 uh, kilo ohm resistor here. We have it um, as it were there. Okay, so now uh, I, I only put some flux on the pad. I'm going to place the resistor reasonably, reasonably, like so. Um, I'm going to pick up my soldering iron and the um, the solder and I'm going to 
heat that pad up while I am applying some okay so uh, that didn't work quite as well as I would have hoped but um, it's basically attached I'm going to, to stabilize it a little bit like that perfect uh, pick up the, um, the solder again and uh, do the oops sorry I'm kind of the camera's in the way here but do the other side and like that wonderful and like that uh, so you don't have to put uh, solder first on the uh, on the pad I, I think it kind of makes it easier but um, you know it you can have enough. You're gonna have enough uh, capacitors to, to to solder, so you can just try out whichever way um, you like best. Anyway, that's uh, I think that's it for me. Before you um, <coughs> or before I finish, I would just like to add that after you're done with all this, um, you're gonna have to clean it. Uh, you have to clean the solder off the. Although actually, you have to clean the flux of the uh, PCB board. Even if you use water clean, I, uh, even if you use no clean, I try to clean it off because it just looks nicer. Um, but if you have water clean or if you have um, you know, isopropanol or whatever, what, whatever your flux that you're using needs to be cleaned off with, make sure you clean it off kind of within a few hours or within an hour after, after a soldering session. It's uh, prep solder clean and, and and then you it's kind of the cycle and then you take a break for for a day or whatever and and you continue it's uh, it's a good way to break it up okay well this this will be really cool to have we're gonna have cs80s <laughs> how cool is that okay bye